Hey guys, Mike here, Jet Tech. Just another quick episode of Tips, Tricks, and Flicks. So on this episode, I'm just going to talk you through what I carry on my, what I personally carry on my ski each time I go out, um, and what I've also got my ski kitted out with. So I put EVA turf sheets all over the ski. Um, main reason is for if we're doing step off toe and surfing, you just have traction all along there. Plus, you protect your boards and etc. We will uh, sit up here quite often like that. Also, if you're fishing stuff off your ski, this stuff is just so comfy underneath your feet. Next thing is, I always have my ski set up with seat straps. Reason being, if something does go terribly wrong in big surf, uh, these bad boys are gonna keep your seats on, because if your seats come off, that's gonna really suck. Also, we've got a grab handle here. These are also removable, so just like that. And you can obviously, and you just take your seats off. Um, and then I've always, I, can, I have a little speaker on my ski, you obviously don't really need that, but it's just kind of nice to have some beats if you're cruising or whatnot. We've got bonnet bungees on here, some people run straps too, that there is again just to keep the hood a bit more secure if the ski does roll over. Then moving on to kind of like equipment that I keep in my ski, uh, let's have a look what's in the glove box. Sunglasses. I keep these in the cover just to make them last longer because things get kind of bashed around. Sunblock, keep some sunblock in there if you ever need some. Usually a better looking muesli bar than that. Oh, wax and hair, uh, my wax comb. Keep some cable ties as well. So that's just in there. And then usually we have a GoPro, our phones or whatnot in there as well. Um, then let's have a look what else we got in here. On these yummies, we've got spin top here. That's complete dry storage. So in here, I just keep uh, a pair of pliers. These here are actually super handy. I probably actually use these mainly for when shackles kind of get a little bit tight and seized up um, for hitching onto the, the ski onto the trailer. These are super handy for that. I actually put my phone in there as well if we're in surf conditions. Again, if something went wrong, I know that's gonna be the safest compartment in the ski and it's completely watertight. It's the only spot in the ski that is watertight. Okay, let's have a look what's in here. What I've got, offshore jackets. So depending on where you are in the world or in Australia, you need high-vis jackets. So in Queensland, it's like level 50. So that's what I've got with one of our jackets. So red, which means high-vis and certain flotation as well. Always got that bad boy. Sometimes I actually keep a spare jacket in my, in my ski too that even if it's me and a mate, I'll have one more in there just in case I see someone out somewhere and they need help or whatnot. I don't know, it just, it's just nice to have in a third jacket or second jacket. Coming onto the anchor. I always keep an anchor in my ski. A couple of reasons. Uh, well, one, I anchor all the time. Um, I don't actually, I try to avoid beaching my ski as much as possible because it's not that healthy for them. Uh, and also, even if I wasn't planning on anchoring, but if something went wrong with the ski it, you, and you're drifting to a rock wall or whatnot or into the surf break, you, you do need to be able to stop that and anchoring it. So I have an offshore setup here. So a 1.5 kilo safeguard anchor that we manufacture. You can see these don't scratch the ski. I got four meters of chain on this with chain sock and then 20 meters of line. I actually permanently tie this onto the ski as well you don't have to but because of the frequency that i'm anchoring i just leave that tied on you can watch another clip here as well just follow the link below on how to anchor your ski um, that i just kind of run through the basics but yeah i leave mine tied on or you just have a, a snap hook carabiner what else we got in here so fins i always keep fins in one if we see dolphins or whatnot we want to jump in and try to swim with them these are handy Two, again, something went wrong, need to rescue someone, or again, ski breakdown sign. It's just good to have these to be able to have a lot more propulsion in the water for yourself. I just keep a cheap pair of goggles and snorkel in my ski. I've got a better quality pair that I use from actually diving, but these here, I just keep in there, they get a bit bashed around. Um, what else? And then, so here I got our tow surf ropes. 
I personally don't use this a hell of a lot, but if we're going out having a bit of fun or do whips or whatnot, so these are our kind of flotation ropes that are designed to use in and around jet skis. Um, that, I keep that in, a, in the bag that they come in so it doesn't get tangled with everything. So that's what else i got in here. And then, um, just bring camera over here, have a look at this. I've got uh, this little storage compartment here that we make up. We put EVA foam around it to keep protected and strapped in so it doesn't move anywhere. So with this, you can unstrap it. This here is actually really good. We make them watertight as well. So it's got a spin top. And in here, I keep a dive knife, flares, and a V-sheet. So it's pretty much like my rescue package here. Um, this also floats and I just keep it strapped in there. It's stored out of the way, easy as. Nothing's getting damaged in there. If you leave you know, like your flares and any other safety equipment, kind of in just even dry bag storage compartments, they always just get smashed around and that, you know, depending on how often you go out, but you might, they might be all screwed up and within like three months or six months. And this hair just secures in with a Velcro strap. So it's quite good with yammies because in the US, that's like designed for a fire extinguisher, but they don't supply them with skis here in Australia. So this here actually fits in it perfect. Um, yeah, easy. Uh, I got one more storage compartment in this ski as well. In here, another spin top. I keep a, a rescue tow line that we do, seven meters in length. Um, so if I need to tow someone or be towed, also just tying up to people and et cetera like that. Only relevant if you're surfing, we always like to kiss, keep spare leggies because they snap every now and then. And that really ruins your session if you don't have one. So I keep that in there. Another thing I didn't mention before that I usually do have in that, that gray container in the front is a little shifter and a set of screwdriver pieces. Just again, another handy thing. Oh, and very important thing that I fit to my ski. Uh, I can't best to see it with the camera. We put toe taps in here. Um, the, what a toe tap does, if you break down, I think everyone should fit these in their skis. I don't know why skis don't come out from the factory. If you break down, you can't tow your ski faster than six knots without a toe tap. Because what it does, that's the water going back up through the intake pump into the exhaust system and it will flood your engine. So what a toe tap is, just fit it down the bottom there, it takes you, I don't know, different skis, I don't know, an hour or so to install. There's a tap there that you, that you switch over and that will block any water going in. And that way, if you did break down, you can tow your ski at 15, 20 knots. It's perfectly fine, sweet as. Um, so yeah there guys, that's my ski, what I personally fit it out with and also carry as an equipment wise. I feel like I'm quite prepared most of the times when I go out, so I hope this helps.